Shalom, shalom. Part three. Every wise-hearted person among you shall come and make everything that Yah commanded. The tabernacle, the tent, its cover, its hooks, its planks, its bars, its pillars, its sockets. We're at uh, verse 11. Um, uh, I wrote down the notes for, for um, I'm going to go back to, uh, uh, what is it? I think it might be um, the, the malaika, which is your labor. This, this is what all this is about. Yah wants you to like set up this, this tabernacle and perform all these labors in it and bring these, these gifts to it, to bring it up. So well, the labor of the angel self, endowment, or which is that word mal male, which is fulfill or consecrate, to fill up, which is another word. If you put a K there, you would get angel. So this this consecrated, this consecrated, this filling up of this, you know, filling up thyself, thy mind with this, with this knowledge is, is making yourself into an angel man, a lower angel. The labor of the angel self endowment of the filled hands to battle to be consecrated the labor or the battle uh, with the signs and symbols of the Torah for the inner self and the enemies or Pharaoh of the lower self you know your enemies you know, they were the, your king and the pursuers of the spies that entered the land under Joshua uh, they're your Amorites they're your Canaanites uh, they're the, your your Chaldeans they're uh, Ammon they're Moab they're, they're all the enemies of the inner self they're all signifying like um wicked principles within the self inside but also they are signified by wicked principles and people and things outside such as Esau the white man is a wicked principle inside you know he, he's, he's, he's a wicked principle you can use him as an example in the Torah or, or in the tabernacle now in this day on the, on, you know <clears throat> in real time I'm sorry uh, let's get down to it uh, 11 Ah, Mashakan, the dwelling place. All this is, is the Mashakan. You break this word down, Ma from with Shakan, which means to do what to dwell. Yah's spirit dwells in the holy place. Uh, we really we kind of really signify this, the Mashakan, the dwelling place. But you know, you can say all of this. The spirit dwells in all of this, not out here, but this only. Uh, the Mashakan dwelling place, eth ah, the ahal. Uh, the hall, which is the, the tent. Uh, you can break this word down. It goes, I hal, I, I halal, la, which is, which is to go, to go forth, which is movement. So I go forth, which would be like a tent, would really be the, the Holy of Holies. They call it the tent, the ahal. You, they call this the yakal, uh, the high yakal. Um, the word yakal is another word means he, he ate. Uh, you have bread in here. He, he's, you know, he prevailed. He, he's, he's fighting. He fought, hayakal, hayakal. It was he ate. Akal means to eat. You have bread in here, so he fought. He battled. All these, you know, it's it's teaching within teaching within teaching. Uh, so this is your 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 tabernacle. This is your tent, basically. You know, your covering, uh, the holy of holies. What else we got? And its cover. Uh, Aho, af masaka. Ma -saka. Uh, I think the word saka also means uh, throne. You, you got your throne up here with the Most High. You know, his, his the earth is his, where his feet is his footstool. You got King David's throne, which is the uh, the the incense altar, and you got the throne of the angel Michael, which is the Ark of the Covenant, and Yas at the top of here. But there's a cover, Ma -saka. It covers up. You know, there's a cover for the whole tabernacle, so you couldn't see inside of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. The quaras, or you know, it's it's hooks, it's planks. Um, I had these written down too. Um, what we at eleven? From the dwelling place, I from a distance I will cover. I from the throne, I will stoop down. Quaras. So you can, there's other scriptures too where you'll see where Yah says, "I will like stoop down. I will I will bend down to see." what they are doing now, you know, to, to kind of like check on Israel, see what they're doing. But basically, you said, basically like Yah will stoop, stoop down, bend down, this kind of like peer and to see what we're doing on our realm. Quarash, I will stoop down. I will call, I will whistle. Quarash, which is another word. We're getting uh 10. You get your Quarash, Quarashaya. <coughs> Excuse me. Wa, eighth, Quarashaya, Quarash. Break this word down. I will call. I will whistle. I will hiss. 
You can find this word also, I think it's uh, in Ezekiel 38 or 39, where Yah says it will call Gog and Magog in the last days. It will whistle for them to come to come against Israel, who had just been gathered in from you know from the nations and is settled in these villages of unwalled, you know, unwalled, no defense. But Yah says he will call, he will whistle. So it could be, he, can, he will whistle to Israel to come or he'll whistle for uh, these enemy nations. But it's basically for, for Israel. I will whistle, I will call to them. I will, uh, Quarasha. The fugitive one, the fleeing one, which is Barayak. <clears throat> Break this word down. Ba means with or to. Rayak. For smelling, for perceiving, for deliverance, for reviving. So this is basically talking about eat for Israel. I will call, I will whistle, the fugitive, the fleeing one, for perceiving and for delivering, for revival. You know, so it's talking about Israel. So all these, these the, the tabernacle, the tent, its cover, its hooks, its planks. So it's like uh, the tabernacle of his dwelling place, his holy, his holy, holy holies, his mind, and its cover, uh, its throne, my throne, Angel Michael's throne, the Ark of the Covenant, its hooks, uh, I will stoop down, I will, I will look upon and see what he's doing. Its planks, I will call, I will whistle to it. Uh, its bars, its pillars. Let's see if we got its bars in here. Its bars are the warrants. Uh, Ahmad, the one, the standing one. If you can read in Daniel 12, verse 1, it talks about the angel Michael being the one who stands, Ahmad, with Israel. The one who, who came as a as a pillar, which is another word for Ahmad, as a pillar of fire and, as, and of, uh, of cloud. So, so basically, Yah is showing you all every all your thing, all the uh, you know the, the Torah basically in a one sentence. Verse eleven, uh, the ark and its staves. I'm sorry, uh, the word Adonai, Adonai, its Lord is also a word for sockets. You, you already know what this means. Um, let's get to um, verse twelve. Do we got that? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Where we at? Um, do I have 12 here? I usually jot down all my notes just for a quick reference so I don't have to be doing what I'm doing right now. Which I'm doing right now. I don't think I have uh, 12 written here. But I think I have it written down here. Alright, let's just get to it. It says uh, from 12. I'm sorry. It's, uh, Exodus 35 verse 12. The ark, it staves. The cover, the partition curtain. This is this is one of the best verses, best verses ever in here. Uh, let's get to it with the notes. Uh, let's get to it in Hebrew real quick. Eighth uh, ha Iran, Iran, which is your ark of the covenant, which is your throne. Ha Iran, the throne. You can break this word down. Uh, I rejoice. The angels are in here rejoicing every time a man repents of his sins. On the ark of the covenant, you have what's called the kafarath lid. Uh, kafar means atonement. Uh, it's made of it, its gold is poured upon it. You pour the oil on it. You pour blood upon it, and it atones for the sins <coughs> of man. Uh, the angel Michael sits atop of, atop of this on a throne. So the Aaron is the is the um, is the Ark of the Covenant, which is here, which is the mind, and the throne of the angel. Uh, and the Badaya, the word Bada, Bad means. Uh, like bar or handle, it also means uh, um, you know uh, singular or alone. Let's get to that. Um, the Iran, Iran or Iran. I rejoice. I shout. Whiz rattle the angels. <clears throat> you spell it backwards. It it means light, which is nasha or nasha, which also word for debt or usury. Uh, bad day. Poles. Chief of a city. Bars. Gates of a city. Alone. Linen. Garment. To appear before Yah, the altar, to separate, to set apart. So the set apart mind is the ark and the staves. These 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 two lines here. These are your bars. We're talking about the bade, which also means to set apart mind. With the, the priests carry three, I think three uh, priests each carried these. They couldn't get too close to the uh to the ark. So it's like the, the ark of the mind of light, or the court of rejoicing. You know, the Ark of the mind, uh, mind of Light. Remember the Awar? You got to enlighten the mind. Uh, you know, remember the, the oil of enlightenment? All this. Eight. Your poles, your linen garments of yourself. Remember your linen garments? Remember I told you when, when Israel, when Adam fell, he was naked in the garden of God. And God said, who told you you were naked? 
Well, the word in there is also blind, spiritual blindness or darkness or ignorance. But since you have the awar or awar, or they call ur, like ur of the Chaldees, it means your light, your, you know, uh, your, 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 your lamps, enlightenment of the mind. Uh, what time are we at? We are at uh, 10 minutes already. Jeez. Uh, let's get to, uh, la, 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 la. Um, where are we at? The art. We're at the cover. <clears throat> the ah, kafarath. Take this word off. It's kafar, which means expiation. Uh, this is your, let's see if we can get a, a, a better view of this. The kafarath lid. Uh, no. Uh, we don't have it in here either. But but the Ark of the Covenant would be in here. Let me see if we can get a better. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it in this. Give me one second. We'll use this. Let's see if we can get an Ark of the Covenant in here. Um, this, okay. Here's a picture of the Ark of the Covenant. Not, you know, this is not a real good illustration, but you know, you see the the the, the cherubs with your eyes. This is your throne. There's your your bidet, your bade, your your buds, your staves, which will also be like the nose. And on top of here, but they see that there, the kafar roth. It's a cover. There's a gold lid on here, and the priest poured blood on top of here. And what it was was like, remember, the blood is the life. <clears throat> you did self sacrifice. You, the blood is the life, and it separated you from your sinful life, from that Egyptian mind state, from the, the carnal mind state, the ignorance. So, you pour blood on here. This, this is your. It's called the the mercy seat, which they also call the cover, the kafar rath. Let's go back. Oh, I'm sorry. How can I have this marked off? Exodus 35. All right, here we go. The cover and the partition curtain. Uh, we're at twelve. What do we have? We have twelve here. All right, yeah, we got it right here. So the Farakoth Masak, the parting curtain in the Holy of Holies. There's a curtain right there. There's a curtain right here, right before the Ark. You have the your incense altar, and there's a curtain that they have right there. This curtain signifies a, a block. You know, some people can't uh, enter into the Holy of Holies, such as like um, uh, the lower Israelites. Only like the one high uh, high priest could enter the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur to offer expiation for the children of Israel. But within each and every Israelite, you got Israelites who are learning knowledge of self in the holy place, which is a, a field of study. And then you got like those who, who have the eight, who graduated to the eight. Those are the anointed ones, those who understand. Um, <clears throat> there's a, there's a, a curtain here which separates the student, the learning Israelite, and the anointed Israelite. And it also, there's a curtain here which separates uh, carnal Israelites who, who, are, who do have a certain degree of knowledge, but they can't establish, quote-unquote, the angel labor or the kingdom of heaven on earth in the mind. They're separated from that. Th this is also signifying you can establish spiritual principles and because spirit is not going to be perceived by the physical eye. But it's all in the mind. So th this curtain here, which the word is Farakoth Masak. Think about it. The word Masak also means to pour forth like a molten idol or a molten image, a cast image. It separates the mind from the mental holy city. It's the idolater or the carnal mind. You know, we, we talk to like an idolater about like spiritual things. He only imagines them with a physical thought. So right then there's a veil there. He's unable to like, quote unquote, see the spiritual side of things which you only see with the spiritual eye you, once you understand you can like match up the physical side with these spiritual principles then the spiritual side will manifest itself to you only in the mind though you're not gonna be able to see it with your physical eye so this this is what your 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 partition curtain is your farakaf masak uh, uh, I went to the karafaf which is your cover your mercy seat uh, the golden lid of the ark the throne seat Blood sprinkle equals the life poured out, set apart. Movement, blood, water pouring forth from the brazen forehead or the stony heart, which is the exodus, which is your, your you know, you're hitting the stone and the water pours forth. It's Israel coming out of Egypt. It's, uh, you know, um, the spirit coming forth out of the mouth of the Most High. Um, you know, you should understand this. It's, 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 it's the spirit, it's, it's uh, the spirit coming out of 
physical carnality or, or, or you know, it's just basically what it is. And let's spend too much time on that. But that's a beautiful uh, verse there for those who understand, who get it. Thir verse 13, the table, the staves, and all its utensils, and the showbread. Let's get that in Hebrew. Um, eighth, ha shalakan. The shalakan. These are your shalakans, the tables here. The table, the word shal. Um, shal shalakan is like sending forth or preparing. To, to shalakan. Uh, ya, ya, uh, put an act of shalakan when he sent forth Israel out of Egypt. He sent it forth. He brought it, he sent it forth. So, shalakan, these tables are like a state of preparedness. Khan means favor or grace. <clears throat> so, Yah sent forth favor and grace by the bread, or the bread was the Torah. It's, it's, it's knowledge of spiritual things. It's, this is your bread here. Okay? Uh, it, you see here um, 10 tables, and you see here the menorahs with the seven branches, and these signify your, your, the Ten Commandments, um, your, your ten principles, your ten stations of the whole tabernacle ark, and the seventy lights are your your Gentile nations, which Israel is going to feed with the Torah. You can find this in Isaiah. How much time you got? Yeah, it says uh, Israel will will uh, you know when he gets forth brought forth from captivity, he will enlighten the nations. He will lighten the nations. Manara, Nara means light or lamps. You know, he he will be enlightened and he will give light to the to the lesser nations this is why israel is will be that chosen one we're bringing it out now you know so you know already we're almost there you know we just have we we can establish the kingdom of, of yah amongst ourselves right now and then later on when, when we manifest into the you know you know when we get to the the physical land <clears throat> we will manifest this to the rest of the nations which is signified by your 10 shalakan tables and manaras and, and bread table of showbread uh, Shalakan af badaya, which is your staves. You know, there's like bars on your on the tables. I already showed you what that was. Uh, you know, your poles, chiefs of a city, your bars, gates of a city, alone linen garments. Uh, you know, to separate self, <clears throat> set apart, uh, and the showbread. Let's get that. And af kal kaliya is utensils. Remember, kaliya also means innermost self. It also means instruments, which your spiritual senses, your your physical senses, your you know, your facilities to, to learn all this, establish all this, your your spiritual senses, and off the lakam fanayam, which means the bread, fanayam, which is like um, like face, uh, to face your faces, um, directions. In, in all directions, we're gonna like you know our, we're gonna give this bread to all the directions, the four corners of the earth. We're gonna enlighten all the nations, which is shown here by your 70, 70 branches of each manara, each 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 light stick, each candle. Uh, let's get down. We got fourteen. <clears throat> so right down, uh, Shalakan uh, was set apart poles. Your table to send forth for bread for battle. Remember Malak -ma Malakama. Also means uh, with bread. It also means with battle. You're gonna you're gonna fight against even the nations. The heathen are gonna fight against their their wicked principles, their their foolish laws and customs, and they're gonna abide by our laws and customs, uh, which is the Torah. And it says, you know, some some Gentiles are gonna, you know, they're not gonna be able to enter the temple, but they will live by our light of the temple. Cause we're gonna set it up on earth. Uh, let's go. Uh, the incense altar and its staves, the incense altar and its poles. The incense altar right there and its poles. Let's see if we can get, let's bring this here. <clears throat> I thought I had this marked off, what's going on? Man, nah, come on. Uh, let's see. We got the Shalakan, see this here? The showbread is supposed to be bread here. There's like 10, 10 loaves, your 10 commandments, uh, your 10 spheres for the tabernacle. Um, these are your poles, your pillars, your poles, you know, uh, your bade. Um, there's, there's a crown here, which is uh, with the word nazar, means to separate. Uh, it's, a, it's like a boundary, which, which is basically, you know, your, your boundaries, your holy place uh, boundaries here. Um, you know, 
we can't go outside of our boundary. You know, don't don't worship, don't go into other people's you know shit. Remember, we're inside here. So all these guys outside here are all heathen. Katsar. <clears throat> we'll, we'll get to that later. Well, let's go back. This, that's just Shalat Khan, your table of showbread. You know, um, you know, basically. Okay, I don't want to... We're up at 20 minutes already. Time's flying by for these mysteries, boy. I hope this isn't boring for you guys. If it is, man, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, like, give you guys uh, uh, mysteries in here. And, you know, the, it's not always going to be entertaining, man. But it's, it's, it's for your knowledge. Uh, let's go to uh, the, in the incense altar, which is your human heart. Here, the incense altar. I don't know if we have that illustration for that. Let's go back to that. Your incense altar, the golden mazabak. You got your four, your four quarines here, which is your horns, which signify those four world ruling kingdoms <clears throat> that Israel is subject to in here. But this is also this whole thing here basically means King David's. The house of David, it's the human heart as well, it's the physical son, <clears throat> all that. You put the incense on here. Um, this is basically what it is. I showed you what that is. You got your copper altar, which is your altar of sacrifice, you know, all that. All right, let's go back. Let's, let's mark this off real quick. All right. All right we're going back. Uh, the anointment oil and the incense spices and the entrance screen for the entrance of the tabernacle. Uh, remember, I told you what the incense altar is and the oil, all these things. Uh, there's a there's a there's a, a um there's a uh, a, a curtain right there. Again, there was a curtain here that blocked off. There's a curtain here. You know, the, the Gentiles couldn't enter in here. They couldn't go past this curtain. Again, this is another curtain here, which blocks off. You know, your one West Israelite, they never talk about any of this. They're blocked off from it. They're always in here. And your Gentiles, they can't enter in here either. Uh, let's see if we got... What verse is that? Uh, we are at... Um, that's at 15. Uh, your Mazabak altar, which means Mazabak, which means with slaughter, slaughter of the eternal enemy or self-sacrifice. Quatar, which is your human heart, which means incense joined together. Qua. Qua means a cord or for binding, to collect, to expect, to wait for in the heart, you know, uh, qua tar. Uh, your word tari, tarai, which means moist, fresh, new. So it's joined together in newness or in freshness. This is this is another word for your word kadash, which is a uh, month, which means renewal or, or freshness or newness, which is also signified by, uh, uh, what is it, uh, the the... The waters of Jericho, um, you know, newness, re renewal, uh, cleanliness, uh, freshness, which is also signified by your bronze altar and the water in it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take more time here. This might be a longer. Um, let's get back to that. Quatar is a human heart, which is your incense altar. Quatar, incense altar. You can break that word down. Qua, which means to bind or collect. Remember, it means also to join. So. Uh, you're joining yourself to newness, to freshness. You're joining yourself, your heart and your mind. You're joining them together to create a new, a new man. That's your. This is your soul, your heart and your mind together. You, you renew them by self-sacrifice. You, you renew yourself. You renew your mind. You separate yourself from your old man. Uh, where are we at? Uh, <clears throat> you're um. Oh yeah. The staves and the oil of anointing and the incense of sweet aroma and the curtain of the fatak. For fatak is a dwelling place. Fatak also means, remember your curtain? Fatak means opening. It, it here is a door. Uh, remember I told you before in the old video, you had your Yaqin Boaz and your, you know, Yaqin Boaz would signify your testicles. And you also had a door here which signifies the vagina. But this is also the opening into the holy place. Um, you got your, your, your nine here, uh, which is where the moon is. And the word moon is uh, Yarak. Uh, which is another word for rock, rakam, which means mercy, and another word for womb, which is also in here, womb. This also signifies the Holy Land. This is why if you check in, the, in uh, I think it's Isaiah 9 and Isaiah chapter 7, it talks about the land shall give birth to a son. So your this womb, or this holy place, Israel's holy land, will give birth to a son, which is the new regenerated Israel, which is returned Israel. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes the land is likened when she's called Zion, it means a barren place, a desolate place. 
but it'll be like, you know, it's like no people of mine. But once Yah says, you know, I will be your God and you will be my people, this lamb will give birth to, a, you know, she'll say, how did I give birth to all of these? You know, this this is the womb. Uh, you know, the, the moon sign is synonymous with the uh, rebirth and uh, for the spirit and for the water and for renewal. Tie all these things together, as, well as, as I showed you with in the other videos. And, and uh, you know, um, it shows you with uh, the incense altar, you know, freshness, your, your, your mixture must be a newer, a fresh compound, a new moist compound to make to burn your incense to join, to join together, to bind. Uh, Fatak. Uh, fa, you break this word fatak down, which means opening, opening of the womb here, your little gate, your little opening gateway where there's a curtain here as well. Fa means to scatter, to for, it, you know, like pa, it's like to scatter the mouth or this place. It's not always a mouth, but it also means like an opening. Remember your opening here, this is the vagina here, it's an opening here, you know, the, the, you know, the testicles here, um, you know, so this, this is your regeneration Thing. This is what the, the Canaanites and the Egyptians understood. This is why they made a religion out of this. But you're not supposed to worship any of this. It's just supposed to be understood. <clears throat> to scatter in the four directions, the mouth, this place. The word thak, thaka means depressed or below or baseness. I'm sorry. To bend. <clears throat> in other words, humbleness. Th this place, this place in here is where you are to be humble. To, to bend the knee just this is your place of worship this is what it, this is what it's talking about to, to you know this is also another place this also signifies the Canaanites because they were also called Kana which is another word for humiliated or to bend they were like a, they were like a, 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 a people who are supposed to be enslaved or humiliated they're, they're your 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 they're your principles your evil principles within the self that you were to slay or to slaughter or to have them you know bend down or bow down or be humiliated which is what you read the word Kana but also here it's also thak, thaka or thak, which means you know to depress or be below or base, you know, uh, which signifies being humble, humble in the self. We're at twenty-seven. Open up another one. Hold on.